90 years ago today, he broke the world land speed record on Castle Beach, driving his Sunbeam Tiger at 152 miles an hour. Well, to mark the occasion, Sir Henry's beloved Sunbeam, which has been out of public use since 2007, recreated the attempt alongside other vintage cars today in a celebration of his life, and Alex Worsick was there. <coughs> Recreating history, exactly 90 years since Sir Henry Seagrave's remarkable achievement, his Sunbeam Tiger dashed across the same stretch of sand. Slightly slower this time round, only 100 miles an hour, but admired by thousands. Magnificent, to be honest. Um, absolutely beautiful. Of its time. Perfect. It is, I think, a beauty, yeah. Mechanical art. And it seems in 90 years, little changes. Everyone wants a close-up. Sir Henry Seagrave set land and water speed records, a constant challenge to his great rival, Sir Malcolm Campbell. But Sir Henry was killed on Windermere, aged just 33. He died before my father was born, so we sort of grew up knowing my grandfather, his brother. We didn't really talk much about it. Commemorating the 90th anniversary of this land speed attempt is, is a really nice way of telling his story again and bringing, bringing his name back. <laughs> to these conditions, but the beach remains special for the Sunbeam Tiger. The record here in 26 was the last time the land speed record was broken on English soil, or, or rather sand. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is important, I think, and the fact that we're here today, that's the bluebird going past at the moment. From vintage car enthusiasts to families, today's celebration was worth the two years of planning. I really can't believe it. I'm a very enthusiastic person, but today has exceeded my wildest expectations. It's extraordinary to see the du dunes along um, Ainsdale Coast full of people. A special exhibition dedicated to Sir Henry Seagrave will be on display at the Atkinson throughout this week. Alex Worsick, BBC Northwest Tonight, in Southport. What a sight. Yeah, isn't it? It'd be great to have been on the beach today. It would. Weather couldn't have been better. Right, on to sport.